this is the technology. So the people who perform this work, again, are called Bitcoin miners. What they actually do is they, they run software on their computer that connects to the Bitcoin network, looks for all the transactions that are happening, gathers up transactions into what is called a block. There's a block of transactions where the, that miner is saying, these are the transactions that I've seen. I've validated to make sure there are no double spends, that everybody's following the rules. Um, the miner then adds some extra information to that block. They add an identifier for the previous block, the one that was found 10 minutes ago. Linking to the... Linking in what's called a blockchain. Okay. The blockchain is the distributed ledger. Okay. They add the current time. Okay. It's actually, it turns out to be important to have a rough idea of what time these blocks were found. Um, they add one special transaction in the block, which awards them any transaction fees and the Bitcoin block reward, mm -hmm. which uh, right now is 25,000 millibitcoins okay. um, per block. Um, and then they also add this, this special number called a nonce, which is this, this cryptographic concept. Nonce just means number used once. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a number, actually. In, in the Bitcoin block, it's a number from 0 to 32 billion. Mm -hmm. And then they perform a, a, what's called a, a, a cryptographic hashing operation. So they run this mathematic, mathematical formula over the block to create what's called a hash. Which is kind of you can think of it as a, a a way of taking a whole bunch of data and just compressing it down into a, a smaller piece of data. Okay. The important, the really critical thing about a hash is it only goes one way. So given a block of data, it's really easy to compute a hash. But given a hash, it's impossible to find the piece of data that would create that hash. The task that everybody in the Bitcoin network is doing is actually to to find a, a hash that is small enough to find a hash that, that satisfies what is called the proof of work. And there will only ever be 21 million bitcoins. The reason we know that is because the miners creating this algorithm are, are prevented from creating too many bitcoins by this pr proof of work function. And so what they're doing is they're, they're, they, they gather up the transactions, uh, Compute a hash, see if it matches. If not, they increment the nonce, increment that number from 0 to 32 billion, and try again and see if, did I get a hash that satisfies the, the net network? If I did, woohoo, great, I'll announce my block to the whole network. That will become a new entry in this distributed ledger. Everybody can check my work very quickly um, to make sure that I followed all of the rules of the Bitcoin network. And everybody will agree, yes, you know, those are the now the valid transactions, and yes, you know, Whoever created that block is awarded with new Bitcoins that they'll be able to spend.